Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay so welcome in lecture number 5 of basic concepts in immunology. In last class we discussed the effect and mechanism of antibody, what happened, how they are doing. Now I am going to discuss about effect and mechanism of T cells, like what T cells are doing. The effect and mechanism of immunity, T cell actually orchestrated the cell mediated immunity and regulate B cell response to most antigens. Okay. T cell, I mean we will see in next half an hour what T cell is doing and how many ways it helps the adaptive immunity, because T cell also need to be activated specifically against the pathogen or antigen. Okay. It is not in general like innate immunity. We already mentioned, but again today we will see that what is a slight more detail, we will definitely go with much more detail in much more detail in uh, um, of this T cell part. Let us go and recapitulate what we said about the MHC. MHC is the major histocompatibility complex. Why we need that? Because if you remember, I already told that T cell receptor cannot recognize antigen in native condition or alone. The antigen should be present by either M MHC class 1 and MHC class 2 to T cell receptor. So, T cell receptor recognize antigen with MHC together, the complex is recognized. B cell receptor can recognize directly the antigen, directly the organism or pathogen, okay. but T cell is not. There are two types of MHC, two types of major histocompatibility compatibility complex, one is MHC class 1 and the other is MHC class 2. We will discuss later what is their detail function of the MHC 1 and MHC 2, but now if you see this picture the cartoon you see there is very similar looking thing, they are very similar, okay. but immediate difference what I can see and I am sure you can see this yellow line in this case of MHC 1 there is only one, this is a transmembrane domain. So, only one transmembrane domain attach them with the cell membrane in case of MHC 2, two transmembrane domain attached or anchor with the cell membrane in case of MHC 2 and the red part is the processed antigen. Okay. In previous lecture, uh, one of the lecture, previous lecture we see that antigen is processed. Okay. So, what is this processing? Here what we are going to explain now is this is a virus infected cell. We all know that virus grow inside the cell, host cell. So, this is a virus infected cell, what is happening? The virus is replicate within the host cell and after replication they are producing their nucleic acid either RNA or DNA and then they just bulge out and making more virus from here and these virus will go and infect the neighboring cell. Okay. So, new virus will come out and infect new cells. But if you see the virus infected cell express some protein which is like spike type of protein on the cell membrane. So, in normal cell this viral protein this spike protein is not present. So, as soon as the virus any cell infected by virus they will express a specific protein which was not there before. So, this new protein our adaptive immune system can recognize they can recognize that this is not our own cell. So, something happened. So, as soon as this new protein come out cytotoxic T cells can recognize them. 
So, cytotoxic T cell can recognize this new surface protein as soon as they recognize or bind or attached specifically they gives a, they give a signal. What kind of signal? These cytotoxic T cell after this attachment will be activated and tell that particular cell by cytokines or by cytokines that something happened and these cytokines the cytotoxic T cell will produce cytokines replicate and then in this attachment they will produce if you uh, remember the previous class also they are producing lots of killing things. Killing thing means they produce perforin kind of protein which can make perforate the cells that means they can make holes in cells. They express some kind of proteins which induce apoptosis that means program cell death kind of uh, signal. So, I will come later at the beginning we do not have to worry about that. So, if we remember just now that cytotoxic T cell, ca T cell can recognize virus infected cell and give signal to this virus infected cell to die. So, it will die then. So, if there is no I mean if the cell in virus infected cell die then they cannot grow inside. So, automatically the virus inside the cell will also die, okay. but this recognition is not that simple. Okay. This is the old slide we have we already discussed it. What happened in case of T cell? the antigen is chopped into different pieces. One of this piece is fit into the MHC and this MHC antigen complex is recognized by the T cell receptor. So, same thing happened here also. What happened? The virus infected cell produce lots of protein inside the cell. So, this is a big cell. Okay. The same cells if we make a big way, this big way you see inside the cell there is nucleus there is endoplasmic reticulum. Okay. So, all the viral protein is also synthesized inside the cyto I mean inside the cell in the cytoplasm. So, during this protein synthesis what happened we will come again later in uh, more detail way any protein synthesized in our body that all proteins are not um, properly folded there are some incomplete protein. So, all this misfolded or incomplete protein are degraded inside the cytoplasm. There is a system called proteasome. So, same thing happened because virus replicate very fast. So, they are also doing lot of mistakes during protein synthesis. Okay. They are misfolded protein, they are uh, incomplete protein. So, all this misfolded protein and incomplete protein are processed into small pieces the previous light line and this one of the small piece or these those small fish will enter into the endoplasmic reticulum and where MHC 1 is located. So, MHC 1 will pack with this piece of viral protein and this MHC 1 from endoplasmic reticulum will go to the surface of the virus infected cell. So, what we see here just spike it is not really spike it is like this. So, the spike protein or the uh, viral protein rather viral protein will go outside the cell or ex express the membrane of the cell along with the MHC 1. The cytotoxic T cell T c which is uh, what this is the simplified picture or the cartoon, but if you see closer view of this it is this junction is actually looks like this. So, the viral protein along with MHC is going to recognized by the T cell receptor. In this case it is MHC 1. So, any intracellular protein or any protein synthesized inside the cell is going to be presented by MHC 1 and MHC 1 cytotoxic T cell and cytotoxic T cell recognize MHC 1. So, I am just summarizing one thing to remind you and you all I, I mean I will tell many times, but again there are two type of T cells one is cytotoxic T cell another is helper T cells. Cytotoxic T cell cytotoxic T cell has cytotoxic T cell has C D 8 
and helper cells helper seed cell has C D 4. Okay. Helper T cell has C D 4. Helper T cell has C D 4. So, that is why many times instead of cytotoxic T cell we call C D 8 cells and T helper cell we say C D 4 plus. So, we normally we C D 4 plus and C D 8 plus. Cytotoxic T cell C D 8 also re recognize this M H C 1. So, two things we have to remember one cytotoxic one cytotoxic T cell express a co receptor along with the TCR a co receptor called C D 8. This is number 1. Number 2 cytotoxic T cell recognize M H C 1. Cytotoxic T cell recognize M H C 1 okay. and T helper cell express a co receptor C D 4 and it recognize M H C 2. Cytotoxic T cell C D 8 plus and recognize M H C 1, T helper cell C D 4 plus recognize M H C 2. So, the viral infected cell express viral protein or present viral protein through M H C 1 which is recognized by which is recognized by T C R along with C D 8 and kills the viral infected cell by giving the signal apoptosis. Now, C D 4, C D 4 cells means T helper cells you see T H I will come to 1. So, T helper cell having C D 4 which is recognizing you see this is M H C 2 there are two transmembrane domain. So, antigen presented by M H C 2 are recognized by T helper cell receptor along with C D 4. Okay. What it is doing? it is activates macrophage. You see this picture and then I will show you later. What is happening? Those which are intracellular bacteria or parasites say mycobacterium tuberculosis, mycobacterium lepri, what they are doing normally macrophage eat mycobacterium also just like other bacteria, but mycobacterium somehow they know the tricks that they manipulate the macrophage system. What is happening in, um, in when one macrophage eat bacteria? So, they phagocytose internalize then lysosome is there inside already. So, lysosome is full of proteolytic enzyme. Okay. So, the lysosome sitting inside phagosome come they fuse together. So, these two vesicles okay, these two vesicles are there one is lysosome another is phagosome. So, which is full of proteolytic enzyme they mix become one. So, this proteolytic enzyme present here will kill and chew all the uh, material inside this phagosome which we have seen like in the neutralization in case of um, opsonization. So, whole thing is completely chewed up, but mycobacterium or similar kind of intracellular uh, parasite and bacteria they somehow manage the macrophage in such a way. So, they this lysosome this violet vesicles are not fusing with this phagosome. So, what is happening mycobacteria go grow inside the macrophage. So, macrophage do not realize that they are uh, growing inside or not doing anything even they realize they do not do anything. Okay. But if our immune system is strong enough and if this thing goes then the disease will progress. You see there are in this is the um, uh, microscopic image see there are so many bacteria inside all this red cell. So, this is a tissue section. Okay. So, there are so many cells in some bacteria inside, okay. but when mycobacterium are growing inside what they do not have the control is that the mycobacterial protein are expressed or presented outside the surface of the macrophage by M H C 2, which was not there before. Okay. So, this M H C 2 presenting mycobacterium protein 
are recognized by T helper cells. Okay. So, these T helper cells understand something is different because this protein was not our own protein. They this T if it is our own protein the T cell receptor of this helper cell would not have recognized them because they are already eliminated. We know from the clonal selection hypothesis or clonal deletion method. Okay. So, as soon as they recognize that means something is there. So, this interaction will activate this helper cells. So, they will release some cytokines which is here interferon gamma and this interferon gamma will tell the macrophage see you are doing mistakes which you are basically uh, uh, allowing them to grow they are not very good thing. So, what you do lysosome should fuse with them and kill them. So, this signal will tell the macrophage to fuse the lysosome and all the inter vesicular bacteria will now chopped up. This is called T H 1 response. Okay. So, normally we are exposed to TB uh, patient or we are having T, uh, mycobacterium inside our body because it is airborne, but if our immune system is strong as soon as they start growing T H 1 cell recognize them and this recognition is through this MHC 2 and they tell them to kill it. Okay. So, we do not see any infection. So, this is how T cell help the adaptive immunity because this T cell receptor this takes time okay. and if you see this case when it is okay, you see in this case in normally we do not see any bacteria inside this tissue. Okay. So, this is called T H 1 response of T cell. This is this T H 1 is also T H means this is also helper, okay. but another important function of the helper cell is what? Another important function of helper cell is helping B cell, B because B cell alone can interact with the antigen free they do not need to be processed, but B cell only interaction with the antigen is not going to be activated. So, B cell if interact only with the antigen they are not going to be activated, but it also needs another signal from T helper cells. Okay. So, this called T follicular helper cells we will learn it much more detail when T cell development we will see our uh, T cell uh, the sorry B cell development we will uh, read or um, we will study the B cell mediated immunity, how B cell confer the immunity. When we discuss that, we will discuss this part much more detail. But here, what happened? I told you there are three types of antigen presenting cells macrophage, dendritic cells, and B cells. So, after engulfing or uh, taking the antigen inside by receptor mediated endocytosis, they also present this antigen. The B cell is also going to present the antigen through MHC2. So, I am repeating one more time, one is any internal or endogenous antigen that means, any protein synthesized inside our body inside our cell is presented by MHC 2. Anything coming from outside say bacteria or bacterial protein or toxin or um, any uh, foreign agent from outside to inside by phagocytosis or receptor mediated endocytosis they are presented by MHC 2. Okay. So, B cell internalized antigen from outside presenting by MHC 2 recognized by T helper cells receptor along with C D 4. Okay. So, this combination are giving the signal to T cell this interaction is giving the signal to T cell which in turns activate the B cell and telling that okay, now you proliferate and convert to plasma cell and produce antibody. Okay. So, now before going to this inherited and acquired defect. So, what is in summary B cell activated by T helper cell and going to produce antibody in turn antibody is showing its effector function in three ways neutralization, opsonization and 
complement activation. And T cell not only helping the B cell to activate it and produce the antibody, it is also helping the immune system by killing virus infected cell as well as it is also helping which is not mentioned here or the tumor cell also. The cancer cell is also producing some new protein which is not present normally in our body is also presented by MHC 1 and same way the viral protein was recognized by cytotoxic T cell was recognized by cytotoxic I mean the tumor cell also recognized by cytotoxic T cell and killed by cytotoxic T cell. Okay. And T H 1 response what it is doing if there is any intracellular pathogen which is growing inside they recognize that and tell the cell to kill the intracellular pathogen. So, if you see I mean if you remember that slide that we have four type of pathogen virus, intracellular bacteria, extracellular bacteria, extracellular bacteria is mostly taken care by the antibody, intracellular bacteria by T H 1 response most of the time. So, they kill by inside uh, kill inside the cell virus is taken care by the NK cells and cytotoxic T cell which we already discussed that is the effector function and the parasite what happened if it is smaller then um, antibody can take care antibody can bind and also and if it is intercellular then TH1 response is going to kill them and if it is big then you already know, know that antibody coated parasite is killed by eosinophil. Okay. So, eosinophil also make hole and kill the bigger parasite if it is antibody coated. So, these are the effector function. So, if there is any mistake here whatever I told that is how it is protected, but if it is any mistake in that that either we, we can acquire in our lifetime any defect in immune system or immune system defects can be inherited okay, and which cause several problem. What are these problem? So, okay, so infectious agent virus or bacteria if there is a normal response is the protective immunity we normally do not see the disease, but if it is deficient in some way I mean there are many way it can happen. So, what we will see recurrent infect, infection. So, if any uh, individual will see that they are infected refer I mean recurring infection happen okay, their immunity is low or protection is less innocuous substance that is normally the allergen which cause allergy. Now, it is normal response is allergy if there is a defect there will be no allergy some way it is good. Grafted organ is not the natural process, but if we want to graft or implant any organ okay, transplantation. So, if there is normal response immune system is okay, then it will not be accepted by our body, but if it is defective then it will be accepted this is these two like allergy and rejection is non pathogenic okay, most of the time. If there is a defect in immune system that cannot recognize our own protein or own organ then autoimmunity will happen, okay. but if there is deficient self tolerance. Okay, this is normal response self organ if immune system responsive to the self organ that cause another disease called autoimmunity and tumor just I told if there is a tumor or cancer normal response tumor will be cleared by our immune system, but if there is a deficient bias or for some reason the T cell or NK cell cannot recognize the transformed cell or the cancer cell the progression will be the disease the cancer. Okay. So, this is if immune system works and how it works in general B cell T cell innate immunity how it happen, but if you want to do something what is the best protection what is the best protection how we can uh, induce our immune system that we just discuss little bit, but the best protection to uh, induce our immune system is the vaccination. Okay. So, we can prepare we can uh, train our immune system against a particular disease okay. medicine can cure the disease, but disease will happen, but vaccination will protect us from the happening the disease. So, if the vaccinated properly and proper time then disease will not happen. Okay. So, immune system will not have to work or even if we work we will not know. So, it can manage by itself, but unfortunately 
not always vaccine is available. Okay. There are many disease very effective vaccine is discovered, but there are many disease even today for like HIV, malaria, we do not have any vaccine. Particularly there is no vaccine is developed against any parasitic disease, okay. but some viral disease, some bacterial disease vaccine very good quality or protective vaccine is discovered and just I am giving you three examples like <coughs> diphtheria. Okay. Till 1945, till 1945 we have the cases of diphtheria you see is going on, okay, this. but when the vaccine developed or the vaccination not vaccine development is not the only proper vaccination is also uh, required. So, proper vaccination happened you see suddenly it goes down and 1955 onward or 54 onward the existence or the um, recurrence of this diphtheria is very very low. Okay, there are very few cases where either vaccine does not work or immune system is not working properly even after vaccination very low. So, vaccine can almost eradicate the diphtheria, but not as good as the smallpox. Same way polio also, okay. polio has uh, two different type of vaccination recently what we are using is the oral vaccination. So, it is now we are um, giving the uh, um, many of particularly in India all of you have heard do bun jindegi ka, right there are many ads. Okay, every time you are listening, okay, polio day, anybody below 5 years should have 2 drops of polio vaccine, this is just oral. Okay. So, but what you see it was up and down, but before the vaccine discovered or vaccination process or immunization process initiated, it was kind of not very low right? and gradually it is decreased and now you see it is almost disappeared. Okay. If this is the result of 1990. If you see the latest result, that that is polio cases are very very low. Same way, another vaccine is the measles. Okay, measles are also goes down to very low. It is going up and down, but now it is going down and slowly it is almost not there. Not only measles, there is a disease called subacute sclerosing pancephalitis, which is a brain disease that is a late consequence of the measles infection that means uh, it appears after the measles is over measles okay so that case also it happen when this uh, measles goes down automatically the ssp that the subacute sclerosing pancephalitis is also goes down and it is almost zero now so what we can say is that if the immune system normally works perfectly or fine many times we do not see any disease and this is one of the most wonder because if you study what happened to the AIDS patient where the immune system is goes down, okay, almost there is no immune system you see I mean what kind of infection is going or happening in case of AIDS patient you will be surprised, but staying in the same environment are staying in the same ocean of so many pathogenic microorganisms, most of us are not having any disease most of the time it is really a wonder and that wonder I mean the credit total credit should goes to immune system. Okay. And this immune system as much we study because many things we do not know exactly how it is happening and that is the most important thing or important reason for studying immunology like more we study not only studying I am not talking about this kind of course more research I am talking about more we will know more we can handle or more we can control or manipulate our immune system and we can develop more vaccines more effective vaccines a newer way of vaccination okay. and uh, we can protect ourselves more and more and so that there will be no disease because you know bacteria we have antibiotic and these antibiotics are not good, but even we can have antibiotic to kill bacteria, but the uh, more uh, dangerous thing 
is in case of bacteria or more um, uh, severe problem that we are seeing right now is uh, antibiotic resistance strain. So, we cannot I mean maybe near future we cannot kill bacteria by antibiotics. So, only thing we have to understand the immune system. So, we have to do something to activate the immune system. So, the even the bacteria are uh, infect us or get inside the body or somehow it enters into our body that can do much by our immune system. So, that way immune system is very much important to study to know even if you do not know our immune system will work right. So, but it is very interesting that way and research is also very important and one should think about to study the immunology and proceed further for immunology research to protect ourselves from disease and any kind of infection and cancer also. Okay. So, this is uh, today's class I hope um, you have uh, cleared the basic concept whatever I told is the overall immunology that we are going to teach in next few modules like we are going to go detail about many of not much detail, but as much as possible within the scope of this course we will discuss whatever I discuss in last 5 lectures I will discuss and um, uh, rather we will discuss or uh, in little more detail to understand in much better way. Thank you.